Greetings, this is Jim Phillips with Remember Veteran Grave Markers. The work we do here at Remember Veteran Grave Markers is really kind of the subtle behind the scenes stuff, but its impact is quite profound. Today is the U.S. government's uh, celebration and remembrance of uh, Veterans Day, you know, Armistice Day, November 11th. You know, 1919. And I think it's important to recognize the really the focus of, of Armistice Day and uh, remembrance as something that uh, we here at Remember Veteran Grave Markers take as a, a badge of, of honor, remembering. As my shirt shows, you know, our three distinctive words that we focus on is preserve, honor, and remember. With really the linchpin being remember. I recently watched a movie called Coco. It's a Disney movie, and it's about a, uh, a Mexican boy dealing with, uh, with interests that he had which turned out to be a much deeper story than what the uh, the movie seemed to lead to. It you know kind of focused on the uh, the celebration of uh, dead the Dia uh, de Muertos, and I think that um, the Dia de Muertos you know really focuses on you know the remembering family remembering, and that's really the uh, the the big story of uh, Coco is remembering. Now the details, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. Go ahead and watch the movie. You'll see some quite profound pieces of information there that you ought to take a look at as being something important to you. What's critical though for me is how much that movie is aligned to Remember Veteran Grave Markers ethic, what we're about what we seek to preserve. And that is to preserve memories, is to preserve the memories. And we do that not by Memorial Day or Veterans Day or putting out uh, you know, uh, wreaths, but we do it by cleaning, by going out and physically cleaning veteran headstones that need it, by praying for the veteran, by taking care of the small things that have been uh, overlooked or not responded to. I went to an event today at uh, University of Toledo for veterans. And one of the things that uh, came to mind was veteran graves do not clean themselves. There is no self-cleaning veteran grave. They all need someone to do something. And that's the story really of Coco, is we all need to do something for someone. And even if that someone is dead, the something is still needed. And that's our role, is to do something. And our something oftentimes is visiting the grave, is cleaning the grave, uh, uh, reflecting on uh, pictures. All of those things become important and become part of our of who we are today and who our family will be tomorrow. But if we don't remember, we lose part of us. And if we lose enough of us, we won't. there won't be anything to share with anyone. So while I'm not cleaning a grave today, what I'm trying to do is at least giving you a, an alignment story. The alignment is remember. Remember the men and women that have gone before us, remember by doing something and merely thinking about them is not enough because the graves, frankly, don't clean themselves. This is Jim Phillips with Veteran, Remember Veteran Grave Markers. I'll see you next time. Please share, like, and, um, you know, and tell other people about this and subscribe. Thanks. Happy Veterans Day. 
Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.